Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about multiplying and mainly by a one digit number. Now, we're going to start with 459 times 8. So some of you are still using the box method, which you basically break the 459 and the 8 up by its place values. So 400 plus 50 plus 9 times 8. And then you put them in the box. So 8 times 400 was 3,200. 8 times 50 is 400, and 8 times 9 is 72, then you add all of those up, which is great. It shows why it works. And then some of you have making this net, made the next step and gone to 459 times 8 using partial products. So with this method, you're still doing the sales, the value of the digits, multiplying them together, and then you add them up. So what we're going to talk about today is algorithm, how we can take these steps and compress it. So it's basically the same thing, except instead of multiplying all of them and then adding, we are going to multiply and add together. We're going to combine it. So what does that actually look like? So let's look at it. Let's get into it. 459 times 8. Now, if you aren't familiar with your multiples of 8, you can always write them to the side. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80. However you want to write those to the side, that always helps me so I can remember them. So 459 times 8. 8 times 9, 72. So I am told you I'm going to multiply and add at the same time. So instead, just like we carry with addition, we're going to do the same thing with multiplication. So 8 times 9 is 72. I'm going to put the 2 in the 1's place because that's where we're multiplying from. And then I'm going to put the 7 above the 10's place. Now we're multiplying the value. So 8, so this is going to, answer is going to go into the 10's place. 8 times 5, which is 40. But wait, we still have to add that 7. So 40 plus 7 is 47. So I'm going to put the 7 here, but wait, what do I do with the 4? I'm going to put it above the other 4. So plus 4, but we're going to cross that out because that is so last season. Now we're ready. 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 4 is 36. So we have 3,000 672. Awesome. So let's do this again. So we're going to have, let's try another problem. But what if we have four digits? Will that work too? A four digit by a one digit. So let's go ahead and try 4,367 times, let's do a different number, six. And again, if I don't know my multiples of six, I can write them to the side somewhere. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. 6 times 7, 42. What about the 2 in the 1's place? But what do I do with that 4? I'm going to put it above the 10's place now. Plus 4. 6 times 6, because now I'm multiplying the 6, 6 times 6 is 36, but wait, we have to add 36 plus 4 is 40. So I'm going to put a four, 0 here, cross that out. So 40, I'm going to have to put a 4 above the hundreds place now, because we're adding and multiplying at the same time. 6 times 3, 1, 2, 3, 18 plus 4, 18 plus 4, 22. Carry the 2. 6 times 4, 24, plus 2 is 26. So now we can see our answer is 26,202. Not too hard, it's just combining the operations together. We're combining, multiplying, and adding together. We're doing it at the same time to save some space and save some time. So I want to try one more together. Let's do one more. Let's do 8,367 times mm, 5. If you don't know your multiples of 5, you can always write them to the side. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So now I want you to pause the video. I want you to try to solve this one yourself before we do it together. Did you pause it? All right, let's get to it. Five times seven is 35. I'm gonna carry it, put the three above the tens place. Five times six is 30, plus three is 33. Cross that out, we're done with that one. Five times three is 15, plus three is 18. Cross that one out. And five times eight is 40, plus one is 41. Now, if you feel like you don't have it yet, that's okay. We're gonna just take some practice and we're gonna keep going on these. So what I want you to try to do on your own are these two problems. 325 times seven and 4,179 times four. If you need to, write your multiples aside. You got it. 